This week on Gearing Up, to go with our pump track building, we're going to tell you or at least show you how we built what we think is the perfect pump track bike. I got a chance to ride one of Mark's bikes at his track and I fell in love with the thing so I kind of based my bike around that with my own modifications. I started here with that uh, Santa Cruz Jackal because it was such a sweet bike. But I mean, why, why was it such a sweet bike, Mark? Why is it for this kind of purpose? Why I like it is you can make it into a geared bike or a single speed. It has short chain stays that make it really snappy in the turns for those tight berms and stuff like that. The whole front end is super stiff and sloping so you can get out of the way of it and it's just like a big BMX bike. Yeah, exactly. And uh, like Mark said, I opted for the single speed. I didn't want to have to mess around with, with shifting gears or, you know, if I slap pushing the derailleur into the rear wheel um, and I went with a two to one gear ratio and on the crank I picked the, uh, the Race Face Atlas uh, crank set. What's, uh, what's going on with the wheels here, Mark? Wheels, those are the WTB dual duty wheels. It's a stiff wheel, it's 14 gauge spoke. It's just really good to have a stiff wheel because you're going to be hitting these berms pulling anywhere from one to three G's if you're Dean a half G, but that's cool. Yeah. He still needs stiff wheels. Yeah. So you need to get the wheels, get them stiff, and then the tires also. I, these are WTB 255 low treads that'll work good out here. I use the Nano and the Volpines back at my place because it's all hard pack. So just a fast tire is what you need on the pump track, not a lot of tread. Now these have your name on them, so you shoot on corner? Uh, if you use them properly. Properly, properly inflated. <laughs> right on. So we'll move it on the front end here. <clears throat> Again, since I don't have any, any gears to worry about, we went with just the full race face stem and, and handlebar. Avid Juicy 7 brakes give you some good stopping power there, although hopefully you never have to slow down. Um, we got on the front end, we have a fork here too. I went with the, uh, the Argyle, the new RockShock Argyle. It's really a dirt jumping fork. It has 100 mils of travel and it's a good stiff fork. You want something that's going to match up to that bike. You don't want to have the weak, uh, the weak spot being on the fork. And then you got the uh, pedals. All These right. are the Crank Brothers 5050s. They're a great flat pedal. They're strong, very durable. But you need the shoes to go with them. Some kind of sticky rubber shoe, which they stick on these pedals like glue. And it's great to have them because uh, I wouldn't be anywhere with a raked out are, shin. Those things are sick. And I had to borrow some shoes when I was up at Mark's house the first time I met him. And I almost crashed because they stuck so well. And, and those are definitely, I think, one of the highlights of, of the bike, um, of the experience for sure. Anyway, and then going on to the saddle, I went with a WTB saddle, the Pure saddle. Not like you ride on it a lot when you're on the, uh, on the, on the pins out there, but uh, it's a great seat, it's super comfortable. It's got a cool bling factor to it, so it'll look good running around the track. Anyway, that's what we went with, and uh, we think that's going to make the perfect pump track bike. At least I do, that's the way I spec it. you got to spec your own. Like you said, you can work a BMX bike, but uh, a nice heavy-duty bike like this is going to take tons of punishment and give you tons of uh, hours of riding. So. Go out and check it out. Build one of your own. That is our gearing up section today on how to build a pump track bike. Enjoy it. Yeah.